and hello again and here we are back in Jeff's shed another week's gone by and here we are with part three of my making an aluminium swing arm for my Harley Softail and it's coming together quite well now the two sides have now been bolted together and also at the back of the swing arm we're just starting work on milling out these We've holes here a pilot hole in yeah. so we can start milling a little pilot hole there because this little square here is going to be milled out because this is where the wheel adjusters are going to go yep which are going to be internal of course just like a drag bike and then here at the front of the swing arm we've got this block here which is waiting to be machined out it's this sort of rough shape because this is where the front shock mounts will be here and here so two shocks going forward and rather than welding it to this piece it's going to be bolted because then we can shim it and move the shock mounts um, and then move the shock mounts back and two to get the right out just right on the bike so yeah that's the current state of play and we'll come back next week and see how it's getting on and now here we are a few days later and as you can see we've made some progress these slots have been machined into the two spars and these are done for the adjuster blocks which have yet to be made but also if we turn it over we can see a lot more of it's been done on the back side and here we've lightened up this spar a hell of a lot it's all been machined out it's still plenty strong enough for a bike but it has lost a lot of weight and i'm not actually weighed it yet but um i suspect with both this and these being machined out we've lost a few more ounces at least anyway i don't know what maybe uh what half a kilo maybe i'm not sure but certainly we're getting there i think we are well on the way to getting down to about 17 pounds which is half the weight of the original steel swing arm on the bike so that's pretty good and so next up then is to make the blocks to sit in these slots for the uh, axle adjusters and once that's done and we're happy with the finish then it can go off to be welded and as you can see we've got let me just make sure you can see that we've got these grooves here these v grooves already machined in to make the welder's job a bit easier and to give a good strong weld so that's what's next okay so here we are back in jeff's shed and what we're looking at here is what jeff it's the bottom shock absorber mounting for your right, billet swinging swing arm for my harley um, now normally these things are welded and fixed to the swing arm but we're doing it a bit differently we're bolting them to the swing arm and the reason for that is so that when they'll come apart like that so you see there, there's four big chunky what are they m12s are they? M m12s we've, we've actually threaded that yeah well it depending which if you put them through that way it's still yeah, it's still it on, it's still yeah. on the thread so it yeah. doesn't really matter which yeah. way but the whole point of doing it is so that a you don't have to weld it but b it we, should, we can shim it we can shim it we can make a shim you, you can and actually, move this back and two and you've that got some adjustment will adjust the uh, ride yeah. height which is pretty cool uh, so and, and what we've got to do now is mark them for the shocky bolts which have got to be threaded yeah, into there. these are special shouldered bolts by the way they only go in that far and then they stop so that you don't crush the end of the shock and you can still freely move so yeah I think, yeah they're not metric they're uh, good old they're, they're half inch unc yeah, so, yeah. so we have to mark mark that there yeah uh th this needs finishing off obviously we've got mm. to and we might be able to actually shape it a little bit we might actually off. be able to take the corners off that but yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, only, because, only after we've worked oh, yeah, out yeah. where we've got to lose some weight. I mean, it's already lost a bit of weight, um, but we're getting there. We're well, getting we down did, to... this could have a few more holes bored in yeah. it. But... Well, no, it can't because ah. this is where the battery's going to live. So we're going to we'll... make a little battery box to, yeah. to bolt to that. There'll be two, hol two holes threaded, and the battery box is bolted to that. So, so. we'll get every all the important information done. Yes. And then if we can well, remove any weight, any well, place. at the moment I'm yeah. thinking of fitting a lithium ion battery, which means they're a lot smaller, a lot lighter. And that means a different size a box to keep the uh, battery and we, in. And we want three more of them. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I've only got one. One. one well, it, you can put I well, get some plated I ten. No, it's all right. No, no, no. We'll, no, we'll do it right. We'll that stain. I mean, stainless. four stainless ones of them. You're never going to. Well, well, you're not going to break them. I'll. Uh, I might have some at home. So that's that's that. Okay, and I'm just going to swing the camera around now, and we'll see the. Oh, the, the arm, as it I've, is. I've had to move so it while I've uh, put yeah, the motor yeah. on here. So hang on. Let me just. Okay, and talking about swing arm, here it is sitting forlornly in the corner of your workshop. But I do right. see one small thing that's changed recently. Ah, I've these managed these to hack them. Uh, I've got to yeah. finish them yet for the adjuster. So these are the adjusters for the axle, and they will sit. Let me just spin that round. The, uh, that? I think I've, I've go in there. They're not been finished yet. I've got to mill them down to fit in and, yeah, and shape it and shape it. And they'll be in there, and that's for the axle adjusters. That's good. Apart from that, not much has happened recently because you've been so busy, and so um, have I. Yeah, so the swing arm's getting there. Uh, there's no rush for it because when it's finished, 
it won't be going on a bike straight away. Uh, I want that Harley to be used this year. I don't be messing about with it during the summertime on a ride the damn thing. So um, if this ends up going on that bike, it'll be next winter. And if not, it'll go on a brand new project, which hasn't even started yet. So anyway, thanks for watching and cheers.